Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace, out in the middle of the blazing hot desert. I've been playing around here in Desert Wells Recreation Area, riding my motorcycle off-road and shooting a lot of that with my Osmo Pocket. There's also other motorcycle riders zipping around. We've done some slow-mo and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't show you that footage. They did not give me permission, but I can show you some of the stuff that we shot with this with my motorcycle. Well, let me talk to you about some things that I've discovered with the Osmo Pocket. I've already done a video all about it, but I left out some of the add-ons that you can buy. And so now I've had a chance to play with those. So I'm going to break it down into three sections. Let's talk about mounting hardware, audio hardware, and then remote control uh, devices. So let's start with our mounting options. The first option you have is from DJI itself, and that is this GoPro mount. Now, the thing I don't like about some of these is you have to take off the the phone adapter, which means it's going to get lost. So I hope that they fix that in a firmware update later on, but a lot of this stuff doesn't work if you have that in. So make sure you take that out. And then the adapter from DJI, it just plops on here and then you click it on and then it can mount to any GoPro mounting device. So your normal uh, GoPro adapter works just fine. So you can stick that on there. You can mount it to like, this is a uh, chest mount uh, for a uh, a harness or a backpack, a strap, you can stick that on there. You can mount it to different places on your motorcycle or bicycle or whatever. The one thing I don't like about this is that it's a little bit wonky with its positioning and so I found that sometimes I can't get my Osmo Pocket exactly where I want it. So I found a better option. I think the better option are these uh, cages basically that are made by Polar Pro. There's two versions. I have the version that just allows you to slide the Osmo Pocket in there and then it gives you two mounting points. Uh, they're both quarter 20 mounting points. So you can use a magic arm, a rock solid mount um, to just uh, attach it either to the top or the bottom. And then you can put this pretty much anywhere you want as long as you have a quarter 20 adapter. And it still gives you access to the bottom of the Osmo. So if you want to add power or use the wireless or, or use the uh, audio adapter, you get to the USB-C port with no problem at all. The other version of this that I don't have allows you to, it's exactly the same thing, but it allows you to put the wireless module on the bottom, which is really important because that wireless module is not very secure. And I have uh, picked up a tripod and had my uh, Osmo fly off a couple of times. And so if you're doing a lot of wireless control and you want a sturdy mount, then make sure you get the cage from Polar Pro that allows you to mount the wireless uh, module. As the noisy motorcycles move behind us, let's talk about audio. The audio adapter for the Osmo is awesome. It is tiny and it just plugs into the bottom and it can be used with most microphones that you already have. Now, one of my grumps with uh, GoPros is this gigantic audio adapter that you have to use with that. And so it's really unwieldy and who likes that? You can use this guy and it is perfect. Now, one of the things that is uh, good to know is it works with like the little guys like this. This is a, a Rode external uh, audio mic. It plugs right in and then it just works. Or you can use it with uh, a wired lav like this guy or your smart lav plus that I have here. That works just fine. Um, one of the things that you have to be aware of though is if you have a lavalier or a microphone that has the TRRS, tip ring ring sleeve, that is not compatible with the audio adapter. So what you need to do is get some kind of adapter that will take that from TRRS to TRS, tip ring sleeve, something like this. It's only got a tip, a ring, and a sleeve. So I just use my Y adapter that I use for my headphones and I plug that in and all my microphones work just fine. So you don't even have to have a fancy adapter to make these microphones work. And so now you can use wireless mics, wired lav mics, external mics, it all works. So let me show you exactly how all these sound. Now I'm using face tracking and a normal uh, GoPro mount from DJI and I have an external microphone. I'm using the Rode video mic and it's working just fine. So this is me pretty darn close. And then I'm gonna back way up here so you can see that even at this distance, I really need to have a wireless lavalier mic or a wired lav. Let me show you that right now. I've attached my wireless lavalier mic and now you can hear that I can go as far away as I want and maybe the tracking is not gonna track me, but I could set that where the face tracking is off. But the point is, no matter where I go, the audio is consistent. And so I could set this up in a really remote location and it'll be just fine. But it doesn't work with a wireless module. I don't know why that would be so nice but it still is better than the built-in audio. One of my favorite things is the wireless module. Now to make this work, you just 
connect it, you just stick it on the bottom of the Osmo. You have to take off the smartphone adapter. And now you can wirelessly connect and control your Osmo from your smartphone. So let me just show you how it works. For this demonstration, I ditched the desert heat and set up the Osmo Pocket at a small harbor in Oakland, California. Once you've placed the Osmo on the wireless module, simply turn it on and then open the DJI MIMO app on your smartphone. The app will search for your Osmo, and once it finds it, you'll see a prompt asking you to connect. Once everything is connected, you'll be able to control your Osmo remotely. You can use your phone to control the gimbal to frame that perfect shot. You can also access the options for changing video and photo settings. Once things are set up, you simply hit record for effortless shooting. The video you shoot will be stored on the micro SD card in the Osmo. Almost all of the photo, time lapse, and video modes are available when using the wireless module. However, you can't use story mode or easy save. You can view and play back clips in your library by hitting the play icon on your screen. And things work the same as if the Osmo and camera were connected directly. You can also use your phone to select objects to track and shoot in selfie mode. There are two things I really don't like about the wireless module. Number one is it's not compatible with the audio adapter. So if you want to plug in the audio adapter and record yourself wirelessly, control yourself from the uh, uh, a smartphone and then have like a wireless lav, you can't do it. You have to use the built-in mic. So that means that if you have the wireless module, you're basically restricting yourself to being either close up, which means you don't need to remote control it, or you're doing things more advanced moves and controls for things like time lapse and motion lapse and things like that. And so I hope they fix that in the future. The other thing I think is a huge oversight from DJI is there's no way to mount this on a tripod. It's basically just got a flat bottom that you put it on a table or something and then you can use it in that way. But there is an option from Polar Pro and that is this little slide on adapter. And so what this allows you to do, this just slips on and now you have the ability, not only can you uh, access the USB-C port, so if you wanna do external power, but you have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom and an ARCA compatible plate so you can mount this on a tripod and that is a great example. The problem with that is it's not secure. So if you have this on a tripod, you pick the tripod up, pew, this can fly off. So uh, that's why I mentioned before, there is a bracket that allows you to uh, enclose both the Osmo Pocket and the wireless adapter from Polar Pro. So get that one if you're gonna be using these together a lot. Well, I think you'll agree, just by adding a couple of different accessories, you can really increase the capability of your Osmo Pocket, which is surprising because right out of the box, it's a pretty amazing little camera. Don't forget that the, in the description of this video are links of every single thing I have talked about. So if you wanna know exactly what that little cage is or the extras I've mentioned, just look at the description of this video and you can click on those and go directly to the products. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Catch me on Instagram so you can see behind the scenes video on how I'm using my Osmo Pocket as I zip around the world. And also make sure you turn on the bell so you don't miss a single thing. Thanks again and I will see you next time.